Yeah, so I think Coinshaw, he's uh, he's just popped upstairs for a, for a minute. He did. Did you see his presentation at? Um, is, it called? is it called a presentation? Uh, Honey Badger. Yes. Yeah. The, there was about uh, personal security. Yeah. Uh, oh, the, the, and the, the, his backstory about being a policeman in a heavy metal band. And uh, I think the reason why he, he sort of came, came into trouble was because one of the lyrics said something like, um, the weak should be exterminated <laughs> or eliminated. That's it, eliminate the weak. And uh, obviously, you know, it's just a, it's, it's more, you know, it's, it's art. Um, uh, but yeah, it got him into a bit of trouble. But he had some yeah, really good, really interesting story about that. Looks like we've got a chance for some questions in the audience. If anyone has questions, go ahead and lay them in. I just bring them in, whoever. And uh, so he says, anyone hear why the SegWit percentage of transactions is going up this month? Someone big switch over. Um, uh, there was a pull request in Bitcoin Core that now SegWit is the default for the RPC server, but that will only be released in version 0.20. Uh, so th that was a recent thing, but I guess just with the added confidence that now Bitcoin Core is defaulting to back 32 addresses, SegWit version zero, uh, might have been the reason why now some other additional companies uh, choose to now finally switch to back 32 SegWit. Also, I want to take this time to uh, give a very important review of Red Bull Cola flavor. I've never had this before. It went down smooth, tasted like cola, not like chemicals, uh, but then it's, it's totally sneaky uh, because I'm completely sped up now. I tried to read the ingredients, but they're in check. So I have no idea what I just drank, uh, but it tasted better than Red Bull. So if you're looking for a tastier Red Bull, try the cola 